right, guys. So this is Christy with Make Everyday Colorful. I shot a video, a really quick video about us gathering rocks, painting them, putting numbers on them, and making our own little analog clock with it. My kids are still kind of young, so I'm kind of planning just ahead because of a uh, math curriculum that I'm looking into, and I thought it would just be a fun activity for something for us to do and pass the time, and they can kind of play with it. We do have two analog clocks in our house, so they know what clocks are, and they ask me what the time is a lot. So we'll just kind of play with it, and then once we cover that in school, then I'll really get, you know, into depth with them about the clock. Um, but anyway, so this is how we made our cute little nature rock clock. Do y'all finding stones for me yeah. to make our clock? I find a bag of little duckies. Isabella, yeah. have you found any more stones? Oh, this is kind of white. Okay, put it with our collection over here. Yeah. See? We're going to figure out after we get all our Mommy, stones, after y'all collect all y'all stones, we're going to see which ones we think would look best I to make our clock. Okay. So remember, kind of big, kind of flat on one side at least, and then we're going to paint them and put numbers on them. So we got our rocks, we picked out the 12 that we like the most, and we're cleaning them off with a toothbrush just to get all that excess dirt off, and then we are um, going to let them dry, and then we can paint them. I just want to get all that excess dirt off where you can actually paint it and not be, you know, all stuck to it. So, um, as you can see, we are now painting the rocks. Well, they had also painted some little fossils, that's what that is, but anyway. So they're painting the rocks. Um, we're gonna do four colors, top, you know, three of four colors. And that'll be our, you know, one through 12 for our clock. So once they're done painting the rocks, we're gonna let them dry. And once they're dry, I'm gonna paint the numbers on them and we'll make a clock out of them. <coughs> so now we have all our rocks painted. So uh, well, this is the only one I put a number on so far. So I'm gonna put numbers one through 12 on them. And once it's all completely dry, I'll show the kids how we set up the clock. Okay, so our clock is all painted. All the numbers are on there. And we have it spread out. My kids have touched it a little bit, so it's uh, moved a little bit over. Um, but anyway, you get the concept. So I grabbed two sticks outside for the hours uh, in the minute hand. It's about to get destroyed. I can see it. But basically, this is it. My kids are actually still kind of young to do this. But the reason I made it is because I'm kind of a planning person and they are interested in clocks because we actually have two um, analog clocks in our house. We have a cuckoo bird clock and just a red clock that we have in our kitchen. So I thought, what the heck, you know, um, I'll just make it with them. I'll plan ahead and then we can play with it. And then when we actually cover this in school one day, then we'll have it all ready made. And then we can enjoy doing it then when I'm actually teaching them how to use the clock. But that's it, it's destroyed now, so I'll have to save it.